everyone, it's Elsie. Today, I am going to talk about how to read kalimba tabs. This is a standard kalimba tabs. I hope by the end of this video, you are able to read and play it. For kalimba tabs, you would read it from bottom to top. You can see there are numbers on the right side that says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the order you would read the kalimba tabs. Let's start with some of the common notes that you will see in a kalimba tabs. This one looks like a grape with a stem on it. This is a quarter note. The length of this note is one bit. When you see a rest note, that means you don't play the length of that bit. For a quarter note rest, it looks like a squeaky line. This one looks similar to a quarter note, except it has a tail at the end. This is an eighth note. It's half of the length as a quarter note, which means it's half bit. For an eighth note rest, it looks like this. This one is similar to an eighth note, except it has one extra tail at the end. This is sixteenth note. It's four times shorter than a quarter note, which makes this one a quarter bit. For a sixteenth note rest, it looks like this. This one looks almost identical to a quarter note except it's wide. This is a half note. Half note is twice as long as a quarter note, which makes it two bits. For a half note rest, it looks like a push button from the left side. This one looks like a white ball. This is a whole note. It's four times as long as a quarter note, which means it's four bits. For a whole note rest, it looks similar to a half note, except this is a push button from the right side. This is what the notes would look like in a kalimba taps. This is what it would sound like in kalimba taps. You can see here when you see the rest notes, you don't play them. You can see there are lines on kalimba taps. These lines are called bar lines. Bar lines are used to divide up a complete bar. From one bar line to the next bar line, it makes one bar or measure. When you see these numbers in kalimba taps, they are called tempo. Tempo tells you how fast or slow a song would be. Tempo is measured in BPM, which is beats per minute. T equals to 120 means there are 120 beats per minute. T equals to 60 means there are 60 beats per minute. Let's hear the difference. You can hear that 120 is twice as fast as 60. These numbers here are called time signature. In this case, the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. The top number tells you the number of bits. So 4 means there will be 4 bits. The bottom number would tell you the type of note you would use. The bottom number here is 4. You can also think it as 1 over 4. If it's 8, then it will be 1 over 8. 1 over 4 is quarter. That means you would use a quarter note here. 4-4 four, four is the common time signature. If you don't see anything on the kalimba tabs, it probably is the time signature 4-4. Four, four. Sometimes they also use the letter C to indicate this time signature. So that's the 4-4 four, four time signature. Let's go over two more time signature and see if you can figure it out. This one is 3-4. So the top numbers means the number of bits. So can you guess how many bits this one would be? So it would be 3 bits. Can you tell which note it would be? You can think it as 1 over 4, which is a quarter. So it would be a quarter note. This is what it would look like on kalimba tabs. This one is 3-8. 
for the number of bits, it will be 3 bits. The bottom number is 8, you can think it as 1 over 8, so you would use an 8th node here. This is how it would look like in a calendar task. Next, let's talk about dot to node. A dot makes a node or rest longer by 50%. For a quarter node, it would be 1 bit plus half bit, which is 1.5 bit. For eighth node, it would be half bit plus quarter bit, it would be 3, 4 bit. For a 16th node, it would be 3, 8 bit. For a half node, it would be 3 bits. For a whole node, it would be 6 bits. When you see a dot above these nodes are rest, that makes them 1.5 times longer. This is what it looks like in Kalimba tabs. Next, let's talk about beaming notes. Beaming notes helps us to read the music easier. Usually, they are used for notes that are smaller than a quarter note, which would be notes like 8th note, 16th note. For 2 8th note, to beam them, you would get rid of the tail and then connect them with one line. This is what it would look like. For 2 16th note, because there are two tails, so you would connect it with two lines. This is what 4 16th note looks like. This one is 1 8th note and 2 16th note. For the 8th note, you would connect with one line, but when you get to the 16th notes, you would connect with two lines. This one is a 16th note, 8th note, and a 16th note. This one is a dotted 8th note and then 16th note. This is how they would look like without beaming and with beaming. line here is used to connect two notes at the same pitch. This is called tidied note. When you see a tidied note, that means you only play the note of the first one, but not the second one. When you see there are more than one curved line, you would still only play the first one, but not the rest of the note that connect to it. This is what it would sound like in kalimba taps. Here is called repeat open. When you see a repeat open sign, that means you would play the notes on that bar again after you play it once. This one is a repeat close sign. That means why you would stop the repeat. This one is the final double line. That tells you when the song is end. This is how it sounds like with repeat open and close signs in Kalimba tabs. a repeat close sign but not the repeat open sign that means you would start from the beginning till you get to the repeat close sign i'm going to show you how to play the first two measure with my kalimba with the first one you can see there are five notes which are c e g and c e that means you play them all at the same time when you see two or more notes next to each other, you would use the glissando technique. Glissando technique is when you plug the first one with your nail, and then you would drag over the rest of it. So with C, E, G, it would be like this. And then with C, E, it would be like this. Let's play it together. The next note is E. And then F, G, the second measure is G, B, and then G. And then F, E, D. Let's play that together at once. So 
are you able to read and play this kalimba task? for you on how to read kalimba tabs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.